What's up guys and welcome back, it's Pope John Paul here with another Rome 2 multiplayer battle for you. We're having a break as you can see from Game of Thrones mod at the moment. I just you know, need a little break so I'm not exhausted by it. So I thought I'll head back to Rome 2 and I've got a great, awesome Winter Wonderland battle for you. I might call the, might call the title that, you know. If the thumbnail and the title is uh, Winter Wonderland, then you know I picked that. But uh, I just saw this guy and look at this old doddery man. He's seen a lot of campaigns. He looks just tired and exhausted. And he's finally become an officer of this hot plight wall. And he's like, oh, got to cross the Alps now. Well, it's not really the Alps, but it's, it looks like the Alps a bit. So anyway, yes, we are in a snowy mountainous terrain, you could call it. And I am playing as Epirus. And we have a Rome player here. I can't remember the names off the top of my head, but I will... Uh, show you in the uh, game results and I will thank them for playing with me. But uh, we have lots of Eagle Cohort here. We have, well, actually we have one Eagle Cohort and then lots of Legionary Cohort. And for some reason the units are smaller. I think it was just because the host wanted them smaller. So we've got, and then we've got a uh, Sockeye Equites Extraordinary. So some good shock cavalry. And then we've got the uh, usual Syrian Archers. And then I've got, I've got like a, a setup now for Epirus. I've got Four pikemen, uh, four citizen cav, lots of mercenary, Etruscan hoplites, and Samanite warriors, and then slingers, lots of slingers, and my general is a Hellenic royal guard. And we're playing against a Rome and a Carthage player. So we'll start this off, and we'll get this underway. And hopefully, yep, yeah, there we go, we're on the move. So, hopefully I can win with this. this is, yeah, this is my look, um, I'm usually like, the funds are like about large or I think it's large yeah uh, this is the sort of setup I try to bring as Epirus if I decide to play as them because I find them quite versatile they have their pikes and they've got some very good uh, swords and some good uh, Etruscan spears as well so it's fairly good their um, cavalry is not great though obviously most Greek uh, states have the citizen cavalry and they're not the greatest to be honest they're uh, they're pretty trash. They're pretty good against just flanking. They can't really deal with other cavalry. But they look cool. And then Rome. Oh, there we go. Already Rome has... Uh, the other Roman player has appeared. He's got a lot of legionary cavalry. So I think they are... They're melee. So they're probably... They're medium ma uh, melee cavalry. So they're the same as my uh, citizen cavalry. So they probably would beat the extraordinary in a prolonged melee because their shot cavalry over there these are melee so let's have a good look at them they look i don't know something about i mean they've got the old legionary helmet instead of like the newer one which i kind of get would have been quite cool to see them with the newer sort of legionary cavalry uh helmet on i'm sure there's a mod for it the officer here in his gold there he goes he's off he's shooting off and then Carthage has now made an appearance. So you can see a bit of his force. So he's got some late Libyan hoplites. Some, uh, I presume they were Libyan infantry. And these are more Carthaginian hoplites. And we've got mercenary scutiari cavalry. Medium melee. So these are like Spanish uh, cavalry. That have been brought in by Hannibal's hordes. And then mercenary Numidian cavalry. So yeah, you could imagine this is actually... Strangely, there's a Roman... Rebel force and a Carthaginian force crossing the Alps, and then this is a loyal Roman force and a hired Epirus army to defend the Alps. You could imagine. But yeah, there's not much movement going on at the moment. I don't really know where, where Carthage's army is at this moment, so I'm just like crossing this Alps now. The I'm going to call them the Alps now, just because I've now put that scenario in my head. That's that's all it's going to be. But um. Now, I think I was going for like a line about here to start with. If uh, Carthage gave him the space, so that we could just kind of squeeze them out. Because, but then Rome, my Roman comrade here, kind of uh, turns tail and flees a bit because he kind of sees Carthage is kind of coming in this direction. Looks like it's going to support his Roman ally, so I had to get a move on and I had to. Uh, Give Car uh, take Carthage to the battle really, so he couldn't just really join and two team my ally, because that would not be a great idea. But yes, looks like Rome, this Roman player here is getting ready for battle, and uh, 
The men looking very beautiful. All nice and shiny. Going to be go covered in blood soon, though. You ready, men? To die for Rome? And kill these traitors? I bet you are. Look at them there in the distance. Looks like the other Roman players bring in a lot of um, Republican units, like the Principes. I mean, he's got the old, the uh, like the legionaries, which are kind of uh, Republican as well. And you got Hastati. Yeah, quite a lot of Hastati to be honest. And Hastati aren't, aren't the greatest. Cavalry's pretty strong. He's got a lot, okay, like a whole another part of his army's appeared. More Hastati, all his uh, archers. He's got a lot of Syrian archers. Balearic slingers. He's got guys getting very close. Um, the only problem with this Roman army is possibly the lack of cavalry, um, because it's very much outnumbered by the opponent's cavalry. He's got four to two. He's going to need to support that with infantry, but he has got a lot of infantry, a lot more infantry than this Roman player, and better infantry. He's got legionary cohort to his legionaries and his starty. And then what's this? Okay, he's brought eagle cohort. He's got one unit of eagle cohort. Okay, so that's okay. They're fair. They're good. Look at that eagle going in the into the um, snowy plains. What's this? What's he got now? This is the Hastati. Okay, and the lines are crashing here now. So the Roman Civil War has begun. And then we go. Oh, my cavalry coming in the back. I think I decided. I'd seen all. Look at all this. Um, these slingers here and archers. I was like, right, we're gonna try and get these guys. And help my ally out a bit here. So yes, we crash into these guys, and this cavalry appears. I think this is more, more of my cavalry. But I retreat because Carthage's general appears, and his noble cavalry are really, really, really strong. Look at that! Oof, into the back of mine, and now my cavalry's in trouble because. Uh, they're trapped between swords and really elite cavalry. And now Carthage is sending in. Looks like he's got some uh, infantry ready to support. Yep, here it comes. So that is not great. So yeah, here it comes. Infantry. Coming in a bit of a column formation. This is interesting. So yeah. So while that's been happening, uh, Rome's... Uh, my Roman ally, ally has been breaking the Histati, that is expected. But there's been a big cavalry engagement back here now. And uh, the Legion Cavalry is engaging some of the Shock Cavalry and some of the Slingers. Oh, not Slingers, Archers. So that's not great because he's going to need those Archers for late game to so shoot down anyone that's left. But I finally got a bit of that cavalry. Look how decimated that cavalry got. My other one is very, very healthy on this side. The other side, my cavalry is a long way back. But it's just kind of watching over. It's like ready in case um, the Numidian cavalry does anything. But anyway, now we can see most of Carthage's army. He's got, uh, yeah, we've seen the Scutiari. He's got Iberian swordsmen. He has got all oh, Samanite warriors. They weren't, and he has got Libyan infantry. So he has got a bit of both. And he's got a lot of oh, Italian spear uh, swordsmen as well. He's got Balearic and Cretan archers. And, ba well, Balearic slingers and Cretan archers. And he's got Numidian cavalry. So yeah, we've seen just about everything. He's got a very mixed army. No elephants. So he didn't bring any of the uh, iconic elephants. So now, let's watch as the lines are about to clash. You can see the Epirus uh, units arriving. And there's some slings coming over the top. And then they throw in some javies in. And we, they reply with javies. And here we go. In we go. Dead. Instantly. Poor guy. Instantly dead. Absolute chaos. Absolute chaos. Just get a good look at the battlefield. Looks very beautiful. All the snow falling down as well. This must be a very snowy day. But yeah, while that's happening now, the infantry have clashed. My pikemen have forced on through this gap here. But they're very much um, out in the open now. They're going to get shot in the rear, I imagine, from 
the Slingers. I think they do eventually, but they haven't quite got around to it yet. They've got other targets, but we're now... Uh... Yes, look at that. Pikes duking it out. This guy here. Oh, yep, yeah, you should have had your pike. Should be in formation, pal. Same as this guy. This guy's going to have the same problem, isn't he? Look at that. Oh, no. he's He, he might actually survive. Yes, he might. Anyway, and the Pikes here have uh, been victorious. They forced back their uh, opponents. My, the enemy general is still large. Um, hard to say what's going on in the Roman battle. Um, it looks like the infantry for my ally has won. There is a bit of Histati left and some legionary, legionaries. He needs to get these legionaries engaged with maybe the Eagle Cohort. The cavalry, he's definitely lost um, the cavalry fight. Oh, there's the cavalry fight going over here, talking about that. Have a quick look at this. Yep, definitely. I, it's close, I think. Scutiari carry are good. They may be better than mine. I think it's because my uh, his cavalry charged in as well. Got the initial charge. Mine, however, did not. And now, because all my cavalry is engaged in various places, um, I'm finding it hard to... Uh, he's got a lot more cavalry than me, and I'm finding it hard to... Uh, keep it all under control and he's getting my slingers now because of it. They're starting to break and that's not great. And my pikes over here are starting to break in fact. And there you go, you can see their slings coming in and now just like there's a flanking charge broken. They're, they're dead. They're long gone. So the hot plates are breaking there. These pikes aren't even engaged properly. So this is just a micro problem on my behalf and yeah, it's just, that was not great of me. Um, I was not paying attention. Don't know really what I was doing. I probably was microing in the back trying to deal with like cavalry. And I didn't see these uh, pikes just doing nothing. And there you go. Right flank entirely gone. Now I tried to turn them to face them. But they're not going to break any of these guys. Dead. Yeah, broken. So my right flank is entirely gone now. This is all gone. So these units are free to encircle. And it's not looking great for me. Yep. Yeah. Just like that. Just as I say, not great for me. Samonite warriors break. Fighting other Samonite warriors. They're fighting their own kind. What has this come to? Your brothers. You're killing each other. How could you do such a thing? For money. Greed and power. The two evils of men. But here we go. Oh, it's a nasty. Another one down. This is, these are Libyan infantry, so it's okay that they can kill their, these guys, I guess. It's not such ba not so bad. They don't they don't feel any enmity from doing it. I don't even know if that's the right word to use, but oh well. But now we've got um, Iberian swords going in. I guess just to fill like plug up any gaps. But there's not really any gaps forming, and now here come in the hot plates. This is around. My Etruscan hoplites, so they're not going to last long. Hoplites just surrounded don't last long, in most cases. It's not looking good. Nasty, nasty, nasty. And there, broken like that. And while that's been happening, Rome has won. Wow. I'm actually surprised. I, sorry I focused mostly on that battle. I know the Roman one is just as important. Rome has actually survived. I'm not quite sure how it did, to be honest. I think it, the cavalry must have charged in for um, the other Roman player. And uh, obviously carry against infantry. Infantry is going to come out on top. But my uh, my ally really needs to get over here. Because he has a chance of beating... Um, if, if I can certainly keep these guys engaged, there's a chance that he can win... In this engagement because Roman infantry is just superior to Carthaginian. Carthaginian probably a better cavalry, but there's not much of that left. And it's and certainly in the case of the Numidians they've used up all their ammo. But it doesn't matter it's not gonna stop them from going after a general with three bodyguard. I'm not actually sure if the general's alive. I think he might be dead anyway. So they're kind of just wasting their uh, some men here, but they don't care. Yeah, he's definitely dead. They're just two random bodyguard. But yes, now they're going to try and chase them down. Eagle Cohort, nah, you don't want to waste your energy to go after them. But yes, here goes the Romans. They're finally engaging. My infantry is still here, holding on very much. Uh, 
on a lifeline. My uh, general also is still in this battle. There's still chance that we can win this. Pike's down. Now to stab, stab. Stab, stab away. They're sending in more men to get slaughtered. It's as if they want to die. They're, yeah, it's pretty pretty nasty. I wouldn't want to charge into a pike wall myself, but these guys are stupid enough to do it. And unfortunately, they're getting so close that my pikes are having to, like, they're flanking around, so my pike men are having to drop their pikes and pick up the swords. And they're, they're not so good with their swords. Just That's one way of putting it. They, they, they're they probably going to die if, they, if they're doing that. Look at the carnage. And the Romans are now in here as well. Oh, but they're breaking, actually. The Romans are they're like, get out of here. We've seen enough of this hell. This winter hell. And look at this. General surrounded by uh, Sujari cavalry. And he, we were winning decisively here against these Samnite warriors. But look at that. We're forcing them back. We're now just pushing these Libyans. But... My other infantry is broken. It's now down to uh, the Roman cohorts. But they're, they don't look... This, they're not going to do it. They've got archers. They've got cavalry left. Carthage has outmaneuvered us. He's, he's played very, very well. I, was, I tip my hat to this uh, Carthage player. Oh, not the wrong, wrong one. And here we go. Just look at this. Getting, I think at this point we're getting gunned down by the uh, slingers. Yeah, we are. It's men dropping occasionally and dropped spears, or pikes. There's quite a lot of them left, but they're just all scattered. They're not even making a phalanx, and now they're just getting gunned down. I'm trying to get them to, like, get in the back here and break these guys to help relieve the Romans. But um, we need a huge route right now. And here we come. Cretan archers coming in now to deal with them. And cavalry. Oh! The Romans are probably going to break any minute now. No general. No real support. Can only pray to the gods that we, they survive and fight on. More uh, more units there looking like they're breaking. I'm not sure. Are they breaking or are they just maneuvering? They're maneuvering. Oh. Need more breakage. And there's Roman Eagle cohort coming in. They're fairly leveled up, but... It's going to take a lot. And my uh, Hellenic Royal Guard's still in this somehow. And Scuti this Scutiari Cavalry just non-stop has been going at it. I think all the generals might be dead at this point as well. No generals left. So it's just down to sheer will and morale. But, and numbers. And Carthage has the numbers, but Rome, they're resolute, you know. They don't break easily. But they're surrounded now. There's not many of them. Yeah, just charging again. These uh, Numidian cavalry making sure they uh, break. Not sure if they have yet, even. Yeah, there they have. And these guys broke. Wow. These guys, a fresh eagle cohort broke. So uh, we'll end the replay and we'll have a look at the battle results. So, um, citizen cavalry doing okay. So 54 is okay. These ones doing absolutely awful. My slingers might, might as well not have been on the battlefield. Um,. Hellate Royal, Cav uh, Royal Guard uh, doing fairly well. And um, Salmonite Warriors and my uh, Etruscan Hot Plates doing fairly well. I mean, all my units did pretty atrociously. Um, so the other person that played with me, George Washington. Apparently George Washington was there. Came back from the grave to play with us. But he did fairly well. His uh, Eagle Cohort getting 134 kills. Very, very good. Uh, another Eagle Cohort. Yeah, two. Wow. This one doing... Oh, this is the one that broke at the end. This one doing okay. Not quite as well. Legionary cohort. Obviously going to kill a lot of uh, Hestati off. His archers not doing great either. And his cavalry doing average. And then we have this Bist Biste. His, uh, he was the first Roman army that broke. And he had uh, legionaries doing okay. Hestati obviously going to do pretty badly against certainly legionary cohort and his... Slingers and archers doing okay. They probably were fairly effective since they outnumbered the enemy. And his general and bodyguard doing pretty awful. And then Nabu NSR. Well, yeah. His stats are looking good. Uh, 74 for the general doing very, very well. And then uh, Scutiari Cavalry. 94, uh, 94, 93, and 80. And 112 for Nubian Cavalry. It's very, very good. And then his infantry doing... 
fairly well as well. His Samurai Warriors doing a lot better than mine. And his Ivory and Swordsmen, they're pretty light infantry, pretty awful. Did actually very, very well. 60 kill, 60 odd kills between them. It's the Italian Swordsmen with the ones that let them down, really. They broke fairly quickly. His uh, Libyan infantry probably is the most expensive, doing worse than his Samurai Warriors. Actually, no, his Samurai Warriors might be a similar price, but I'm not sure. I'll have to check that. And then Carthaginian Hoplites and his uh, late Libyan Hoplites doing pretty. I mean, those ones did very well. These ones, not so well. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the uh, battle, please let me know uh, with a like. And if you're new around here, please subscribe as well. And until next time, bye for now.